We are <laughs> we are back for another season. This no, is, you gotta redo that. We can't redo it. Yeah, you can. You We're gonna right go now. now. <clears throat> right now. Okay. <laughs> we are back for our third season, and this one's gonna be an awesome one because this is our third season. We did one, two, run number three, right? <laughs> You're really trying to stretch this intro. <laughs> okay. So this is our third season, and we are getting into. We were kind of going back into what we were doing in the first season. Is more we, so paranormal oddities and that kind of stuff. Conspiracies, yeah, and things conspiracies, like that. the creepy stuff. And so we're getting back to the paranormal. And uh, one one of the things we want to do is actually go back to extraterrestrials as well, right? The yeah. UFO sightings and things like that. Because for some reason, this this is dumb. But there is a Tic Tac video. Remember that? Tic Tac video. Yeah, the Tic Tac video. The UFO. I almost thought you mispronounced Tic Tac. I was <laughs> like. <laughs> It's where these air these air fighter pilots are seeing this and they're they, they put it on the news. Larry King did a cover of it. Yeah. And people are just now seeing it again and acting like it's a brand new phenomenon. And it's like this tic tac video, they're now is the best time to release UFO videos and crap <laughs> like that. It's dumb. And I was like, I saw that like a year ago. It's stupid. So we're gonna revisit those conspiracies and we're gonna revisit uh, UFOs. And I think one of the ones we wanna actually go back and do is actually the this Mac conspiracy as well, right? Yeah, that one was what kind of started the whole TV thing? Yeah. And that one really kind of got <laughs> people bothered. It was a weird time. Like a lot of people started writing, you gave me nightmares. <laughs> it was, yeah, I kind of want to get back into that. Because I want to redo it because it was one of the weirdest experiences, especially getting getting into the podcast. And then right when we do those those podcasts, we were having things happen, happening in our homes. Yeah, well, weird things started happening. It was just... I don't know, man. It was just kind of weird like how... We started trying to look into the certain things, and then, shut up, Siri. <laughs> <laughs> and then certain things started happening. Yeah, yeah. It was like it was. It was weird. It was like that's no coincidence. So we did a this man conspiracy, and we were covering him, and then we had, everyone started having dreams. And these are people connected to us didn't even see his face, and they were seeing him in their dreams. Yeah. And then they saw the podcast and like, hey, I saw that guy. <laughs> yeah, I saw him in the dream while you guys were talking about doing this podcast. Yeah. And because one of the things we do is we usually talk about the podcast, especially like with our family and wives and stuff. And we just like regurgitate that onto the podcast. <laughs> yeah. And they hear about it first and then they were having dreams about it before even seeing his face. Yeah. And we also did one about La La Rona and, oh we, and then God. things started no, happening. You to bring that up. And things started happening around the house as well, especially you used to live out of town. Yeah. Into in the fields. In and, the middle of nowhere. Yeah, in the middle of nowhere, and you were having things happening, and I was having things happening. No, at literally, home. something outside the window crying. Yeah, it it, it was just yeah. And me and oh. and me and Alethea, my wife, like, we I, were I don't doing think that it was as well. Lyarona. It was like um, another version of it, like the crying woman, like around here or Native American culture. That's in like so many different cultures that they have the same type of thing, and uh, yeah, that one was just gross <laughs> that was creepy so one of the things we're actually wanting to do this season is we did um if you guys were following along and following our radio we actually did oh that being said welcome to following our radio i didn't even say that you know what if you watch these videos any videos that's like your catchphrase <laughs> you gotta put that in a cup that being said, <laughs> should we restart this whole thing? <laughs> no, just let it go. <laughs> okay, so if you guys are listening out there on the podcasting platforms, we are starting a new season. Make sure you guys follow us on Facebook at facebook.com slash hour, on YouTube at hour, and you guys will be able to find the video version of this podcast because I am saying this because we are getting a lot of new listeners, and especially us being off the podcast. We took some time off, and quite a while. <laughs> within a month, we hit like 3,000 listeners in yeah. that month, so it's uh, we're, we're gaining yeah, traction. Like right when we come, like, forgot about it and then out of nowhere the numbers started climbing <laughs> like oh look there's stuff. a legion <laughs> <laughs> so so we're, it's kind of cool all right well here it goes it's starting to take off and yeah and we're getting messages and things like that people writing you myself and yeah the podcast and the on the page asking us where the hell this bigfoot video is and things like that yeah that's like one of the ones i was getting asked about like a lot is when are you guys doing this one or when are you guys doing that one and it's like i'm not done with my break <laughs> <laughs> And one of the things we actually want to start doing is doing video interviews, whether that's with um, fans that have their own story, yeah. whether that's with experts, because I know there's a Bigfoot expert in Montana. Well, I mean, that's what I really liked. Like the the last one we did um, last season, 
uh, when we actually start getting um, people writing us or sending us their their stories, though some of those were creepy as hell, yeah. and that's like kind of cool. Like actually uh, having people reach out to you saying, "Hey, this is my story. You know, this happened here." Especially when it's local, and yeah. you start like describing, it, you start to picture it and. It gives it that much more of a creepy factor. And the cool thing is, we're actually getting invited to some places to yeah. do like paranormal hunting and things of that nature. Yeah, like and people wanting us to go to their places, like ghost hunt or do this or do that or paranormal research or even just coming down there and checking it out. So. And that's kind of the thing I wanted to make this known is, especially to our listeners, is that this is going to be basically you are listening to basically our our journals. Yeah, is this is going to be our research cent- center. And everything we are learning, we are putting on the podcast because we are trying to research this. We're trying mm-hmm. to research um, paranormal events. We're trying to research conspiracy events and things of that nature. Yeah. And it's going to be, um, this is basically our journals of mm-hmm. research. And that's kind of the cool thing as, as well is because it's, we're learning with you guys. Yeah, that's what I, was about, I was about to say that. Like, <laughs> like before you said, because there's some of these uh, podcasts we did, like the first one, we kind of wing it and kind of get into what the topic is about. And then the second one is when we kind of start knowing more and more about it yeah. and bring what we've learned to people that are listening that probably haven't heard of these things. And that's probably the thing that really sets us apart be- is because when we do the podcast, we're like, we don't know nothing about this. <laughs> yeah. And we try to get through it. And then that's the thing. We're, we're Our first episode is just us learning about it. I think when we start doing stuff like that, uh, my first thought is, somebody's probably going to think we're a dumbass and don't know what we're talking about. <laughs> But then, like every, like basically every, um, everybody like giving us feedback or something, uh, it it was always positive. So yeah, except for <laughs> a few. And we are fresh out of Kinda quarantine. Shoot out, but it's funny. <laughs> yeah, we're fresh out of quarantine, and we're making sure we're staying safe. And um, going forward, we actually have a couple episodes we are going to release of the Serial Killer series, and that's going to be we're going to make that a sub series. And mm-hmm. we're doing this and we're making the smart move because I believe that we're not going to be able to record too much podcasts mm-hmm. as a group. So we're going to be starting this series where we we'll would be diving into paranormal events and things of that nature and making that essential theme of Fallen Out Radio. Yeah. Going forward and making things like that a sub-series. Yeah. Right? So we could do this series and then also the sub-series with like After Horizons or, you know, somebody else or, you know, do stuff like that. So yeah, kind of go back and forth. So we always have something to put out. So there's not much of a, a weight between. Yeah. yeah. And we have some uh, people we're looking into, especially getting into interviews, people that are professionals in their field, whether that's a Bigfoot researcher mm-hmm. in Montana, uh, paranormal researchers. And one of the things is we want to start getting into also paranormal hunting. And so one of the things I want to start doing is actually ordering a lot of equipment and start making just so that we have our own set so if somebody calls us out to a place we can go there so we don't have to use their stuff we can do it with them yeah that's kind of what you're getting at yeah. oh, okay and so if somebody me- messages a page and if maybe they're sensitive maybe they don't want to and people coming around and then we can go out there and do our own hunting and put that on a podcast put that on a video form it'll be a really cool thing to go forward with oh, that and, sounds like a good idea yeah and um also, we did a, if you guys were listening on Fallen Out Radio, we did an Urban Legends series, and that was with Zach Gasani and After Horizons, but they had art pieces, and I'm actually going to get those scanned as soon as I can. Mm-hmm. Uh, I know that there's a lot of places closed right now, but as soon as we can get prints of those, I'm going to get those printed, and those are going to be for sale on a website that I will we'll mention probably in future podcasts. Um, is there anything else there, Marcus? <laughs> um, as far as what we've done... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I don't think so. Not with that. So we basically have like uh, two series is coming out. We have a, uh, our main series, which will be uh, paranormal. We have a sub series of serial killers, and that one's going to be insane. Yeah. That. Oh man, that bothered me. <laughs> and there's there's some of paranormal dipping into that as well. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of weird. Like that's what I like doing is um trying to f- go past what you usually see like on documentaries or you know stuff like that. And find the stuff that they don't put out there. Like the weird creepy facts that they don't put out. But making it concrete but yeah. that this is what happened. This yeah. is like this is actually someone's account. Yeah, this is something they left out. This is something that happened too, or you know, stuff like that. These are these are other facts that aren't really known. Right. That's kinda what I wanted to We gotta restart. Alright. A little rusty, but we're getting back to it. Alright. 
So, like you were saying, is you wanted to <laughs> investigate these things and kind of like a, address um, what just happened. <laughs> <laughs> Our camera shut off. We're a little rusty, but um, he forgot to charge the battery. Yeah, so okay. I forgot to charge that battery. I have another battery that anyway. I put in there. <laughs> <laughs> but um, where the hell was I? Uh, oh, that we wanted to actually dig past what they usually, what you usually see on like documentaries and stuff like that, um, and find those facts and bring those out, saying, "Hey, this happened too." You know, things that people haven't really heard about or doesn't don't really know, and um, put those out and kind of share those kind of findings too. With and people. that being said, we also have <laughs> a thing that we got widely publicized for is our missing and murdered mm-hmm. Indigenous women series. Yeah. And that is one we're going to hopefully be able to wrap up this summer, right? Yeah. Because we we started going with it, and then uh, a lot of crap happened. Yeah, yeah, a lot of stuff happened, and then just then the weather started getting bad, and I was yeah. like, oh man, this is gonna kind of put a damper in everything. And because the thing is, is where we live, everyone's widespread, mm-hmm. and when the weather the weather gets bad, you don't want to be traveling too far because there's there's tons of accidents. Mm-hmm. And the roads get really sketchy out here. Yeah. But, um, and we especially didn't want nobody traveling to us and yeah. put them at risk. Yeah, but that's that's one thing also that I don't really want to rush and put out there. Like, yeah. just kind of, like, slap something together and, hey, this is, you know, yeah. what we have. Like, actually take our time and do it right. Yeah. And, and actually make it um, worthy. Yeah. So we'll have, we'll, we're, this summer we're actually going to start pushing for that. And hopefully this, mm-hmm. um this whole pandemic thing kind of brushes over and kind of um, gets better so that we're actually at a, a place where we can go out there and shoot interviews. Um, I don't want to do a missing and murdered indigenous women uh, documentary and we're just shooting over like Skype calling or yeah. Zoom and interviews that way, which I have, which could be possible. It could be a way to go, but um, uh, we'll try to get that out as yeah. soon as possible. Well, we're taking our time on it. So that's the thing. We actually recorded a, a few interviews. We did some yeah. music on it, uh, things of that nature. So the thing about the way we do things is that we get rolling and we get them done really quick. We edit um, very swiftly and we try to get it out there. Yeah. And we got publicized for it. So I don't want no one to go and be like, you got, you got you're the paper and <laughs> you got our hopes up and things like that. Yeah. It only like goes for as like ending up uh, having this story put on the front page for what we're going to do and then not go through with it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that'd be horrible. Because, yeah, so, everybody started kind of saying, thank you for doing this. You know, I was like, man, we want to, like, actually kind of help spread this awareness and all that. And We don't want to do a, a docuseries um, that's already been done. Yeah. We don't want to regurgitate what pe- other people are saying. We want to go in there, especially um, almost like um, investigative reporting. Yeah, because we're going in there, we're actually going to look at the stories, and we're going to going to give our own thoughts on it and things like that. Yeah, and not just tell uh, um, basically facts of what we read or anything. Actually, have their family members or people that have lost people, um, or people that know people that have went missing, you know, their family members and stuff. Actually, let them tell you how it is for them how they feel how it affected them that's kind of what we're kind of going for with that and the cool thing about that is especially when you get into even tv when they start telling stories like that a lot of times they actually start solving these cases yeah so that's one of the one of the hopes anyways is to actually lend some sort of way people can actually investigate themselves or if there's someone out there who would actually investigate those things and because in this field, there's really not anybody trying to give too much help mm. to those people. So a lot of people feel lost. Nobody's helping them, things of that nature. So it's going to be something to... Yeah, it's actually... actually um, lately, it's kind of nice to actually see that being pushed out. Yeah. You know, them actually coming out, like, trying to help. Especially like, it's, it's the, finally the starting to gain attraction. Yeah. You know, gain, gain traction, and that helps starting to finally come out. Right. So, yeah, it's, seeing it, like along the way you know it's kind of it's interesting it's it's um, something we kind of want to put out there and just help with All right so that being said um we're we're going we that's on our books and we are launching season three and this one it's going to be a long one because yeah. i mean we're not gonna uh taper off this time we're actually going to start <laughs> we're actually going to go with it and it's going to be like bob's burgers <laughs> freaking have you seen their episodes 
They have like 17, like 20 something freaking episodes in the season. That's yeah. That's kind of what I want to go for. Yeah, there's we have plenty of stuff to yeah talk to about. Out, yeah. Like I brought a list over of things and <laughs> that's already like over 50 episodes. Yeah. So you guys have a lot of episodes. So we got to line up. So, yeah. That being said, is that it? <laughs> so, but how, um, I want to kind of talk about how we're going to go about that. About what? This whole thing. Uh, the series? Whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> the series? Yeah. Well, um, I wanted to start, uh, see if we can reach out to possibly the Moss Mansion if they're open to us coming in there. Mm-hmm. Um, doing a podcast in there. Uh, they seemed very welcome last time. And yeah. they, they were open to the fact of um, actually inviting us back again. Yeah. So that's promising. Yeah. And the thing is, we want to make sure we represent them the right way and mm-hmm. actually get their story out there because they have a really cool story. Yeah, they have a lot of cool stories, actually. And this series is going to be a little different. Um, we actually have a new character coming on board. And I'll, <laughs> <laughs> I'll be... I'll be uh, revealing him very very soon but it's going to be really awesome um, <laughs> <laughs> just laughing thinking about it it's yeah. going to be awesome uh, this this uh, it's going to be fun this person we have coming on board is a, a long time friend of mine um, he he owns a tattoo shop in Billings and it's going to be uh, I don't know should I just say it's like it's going to be it's, it's uh, going to be uh, new it's, it's going to be different it's going to be fun it's gonna be like, um, what's that lady's name? He used to give advice on the air. Oh, I can't remember. What's her name? Let's just introduce it with the actual thing going on. <laughs> yeah. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be a really cool. Um, it's gonna be, there's gonna be a spinoff with it, so that he's gonna have his own podcast, and it's gonna be an awesome thing to do. But it's gonna yeah. be, um, a fall on our character, and you guys are gonna enjoy it. One of the things I want to do is actually introduce characters. Yeah. Because that's one of the things I always want to get into is that we have a show, and the thing about this podcast is. Um, just so that you guys aren't out there and wondering what the hell's going on. Like, we just put out a freaking teaser, and that has um, Phantom Broadcasting in the front. The ones where he murdered the hell out of me. Yeah, and we murdered Marcus. <laughs> slasher style. Yeah, slasher style is I want to start creating basically a universe mm. of where we are creating, we're creating our own um, just weird reality. Kind of universe. And, yeah, yeah. So that if we put Marcus in the car and he's driving down the road in an episode or a, a movie or a episode, yeah, like an episode, wouldn't it be? Yeah. Is that we have um, things that pertain to the podcast playing in the background, things that na- that nature, uh, dropping Easter eggs inside of those episodes and um, how he gets killed and things of that nature. Um, putting little Easter eggs in just random places. <laughs> Whether that's playing fan of broadcasting, things like that, like that. Yeah. And just kind of hinting towards maybe our next season or our next episode. Like it was, we, we filmed one just kind of like a, it was basically supposed to be test footage and it wasn't supposed to be really put out, but okay. it got put out <laughs> and uh, something that nobody really knew except for everybody involved was I think I broke three ribs. Oh my gosh. <laughs> filming yeah. this thing. No kidding. Yeah, Marcus. Um, yeah. During one of the during one of the scenes in that video, he falls down and he crushes his ribs on a chunk of ice, <laughs> which happened. <laughs> yeah. So that was real. That was real pain. So like behind, like kind of like a story behind the scenes, is I. Uh, one of these guys tripped me and I fell to the ground and I wanted to make it look real as possible. So it was, I'm going to throw myself on the ground and I toss myself down and just chunk of ice right to the ribs. Oh my God. <laughs> they cut the cameras and I'm standing in the corner, almost throwing up, just dry <laughs> heaving. It just sounds brutal as hell. And all I hear, in the, hear behind me is let's film that again. <laughs> I was like, I don't know if I could do it, but we did it. Yeah. You pushed through. Came it. Out, it came out pretty decent. It was it was funny. It was it was fun. And, uh, and you, didn't, actually got you didn't know yeah. that you were going to be shooting that day. No, I didn't. Is, I, was, I mean, I was... Because you guys yeah. came pick me up, and I brought my camera out there, and we're like, okay, we're going to go shoot test footage. And I was like, no. <laughs> yeah, gonna... I thought we were just doing pictures and yeah. just getting the lighting right and all that and, and some cool spots we can do. And... 
I pop my trunk and they start putting machetes and bats and everything <laughs> in my trunk. And I'm sitting there dressed, you know, kind of nice and got some really nice boots on. I'm like, I came home muddy and beat up and broken bones. Did they ask what happened to you? <laughs> I just walk in, they just look at me like, what the hell happened to you? <laughs> it was murder today. Yeah. So, maybe about two months I was dealing with breathing problems. Yeah. <laughs> I could barely move. Yeah, it was not fun, but... So it's going to be something cool. Also, uh, one of the things I want to highlight is um, your music that you put on on every episode. Mm -hmm. Is I'm going to uh, start dropping also those tracks on the podcast so that in between podcasts you guys can uh, choose to listen to Marcus's music. And it just be just like a really kind cool... of um, soundtrack that we go along with this whole thing. Yeah. And one of the things we actually want to start getting to is actually getting to theatrics and developing audio versions that are um, theatrical horror. Yeah. That will tie into the music and putting those out on the podcast. Like a lot of these were really rushed. Like I just slapped them together five minutes before the podcast. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But this last one that uh, we just finished for this season is one that I actually kind of took my time and messed around with and tried to find the right sound and the right feel. And I'm actually kind of happy about this one. Anything else there? No, I think that's pretty much... Is that it? I think that pretty much covers it. So I hope you guys are tuned in. I hope you guys stay tuned in and get ready for season three. It's dropping very, very soon. We actually have a couple episodes and we are recording our first episode for the Paranormal uh, series tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And we are not sure... Well, actually, it'll be today. Paranormal, urban legend, yeah. myths, uh, folklore, um, extraterrestrial, cryptid type um, topics is what we're going to get into. So. Right. And that's going to drop very, very soon. And we're going to start doing things a little differently this season and introduce new characters, introduce new uh, theatrics, music, and things, things of that nature. It's going to be something for you guys to follow along, um, something very um, intriguing and submersive especially mm. uh that being said if you guys are into metaphysical properties into crystals uh healing stones things of that nature check out our other podcast at stones and bones radio uh actually go to spotify and search stones and bones podcast uh go to apple podcast and search stones and Bones podcast and you'll be able to find the podcast there also visit stones-bones.com they have a wide variety of stones healing stones um fossils anything you guys can think of especially fallen hour has a collection of art pieces on the website so that's stones-bones.com i will see you guys there and i will see you guys very very soon we have a new season uh get hyped <laughs> see you guys next time